This is Bob. Bob is a normal guy. He has a good job. He works hard to provide for his family. And he tries to keep himself informed on current events. There's just one problem. I don't think President Obama is doing a very good job. Bob is a racist. There's nothing worse than having a racist around saying hateful things. I don't think it's unreasonable for people to have to show ID when they go vote. Whoa, Bob, slow down with the bigotry for just a minute. People like Bob are still very upset that there's a black man in the White House. As a result, they oppose President Obama's policies, not because they're bad policies, but because they just don't like black people. How could anyone oppose such great policies? They're awesome and are working super well. But how do I talk about my political beliefs without being a racist? Let's give Bob a few pointers on how not to be racist. Did you know that under President Obama, more people are on food stamps than ever before? Uh-uh, Bob. That's racist. Just because something is true doesn't mean that it's not bigoted. But how can something be racist if it's true? That's a racist question. We need to secure our southern border to stem the tide of illegal immigration. Racist! Calling undocumented workers illegal simply because they're here illegally is proof that you hate Mexicans. My adopted son is Mexican. Doesn't matter, still racist. I see. I like Barack Obama. He's a light-skinned African-American with no Negro dialect. <laughs> now that's racist. Nope, not so fast there, Bob. It's only racist if it's said by someone who doesn't support President Obama and his policies. Susie is a Democrat, so it's okay if she says it. That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. A liberal can't be racist. It's not possible because liberals support the things that are good for the black community. So a conservative and a liberal can say exactly the same thing, but only the conservative is racist for saying it. Now you're getting it, Bobby. For example, when a conservative politician says something that's not directly racist, but is construed that way by liberals, he loses his job like Majority Leader Trent Lott. But when a Democrat in the same position turns out to be a former Klansman like Majority Leader Robert Byrd, he's a liberal hero! It's all starting to make sense now, so I can say all sorts of racist stuff as long as I vote for the right people. Right, so if Susie says, I am so proud of myself for voting in the first African-American president in 2008. Her statement has no racial implications whatsoever. But if someone says, I voted for Barack Obama last time, but I'm thinking about voting for Mitt Romney this year. That person is totally racist. Hold on a second. How can someone who voted for Barack Obama the first time be racist just because they don't vote for him this time? They obviously didn't care about his skin color before. Sometimes people don't realize that they're racist until later. How can someone become racist in four years? That's a clown question, bro. I'm so confused. I don't want to see the country go down the toilet, but I also don't want the people at work to think I'm a racist. Well, remember, Bob, if the country is ruined, you can always blame it on George W. Bush. You're right. I'm gonna vote for Barack Obama because I'm not a racist. Way to go, Bobby. Remember, racism in the workplace is never cool. Uh, I'm Barack Obama, and I've never seen this ad. Didn't even know it existed. Hey, homie. Look what I got. <laughs> Just for you, bro. Fist bump. But... The GOP is going to put you all back in chains.